Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here. Still looking for the fountain of youth. We're at the end of our first week. I think it's day eight today. And at the end of the last episode, we came up here and we found this spot. And we used the captain's spyglass to identify that stone um, island out there that we have to go visit. Uh, in order to in order to do that, we're going to have to build a boat, and which raises the question, where do we want to set up our permanent base? Do we want to have it back there at the grotto where we've got stuff already, or do we want to find a nice new place? The problem with the grotto is that there are no trees around. There are some palm trees out front, yeah, but those are producing resources that we want. This part of the island over here with this inlet seems like a natural place to have a base because you got tons of trees and easy access to a bunch of different resources. So I think what we're going to start doing today is start setting up a, a permanent base over here on this side of the island. Before we do that, uh, we do have some more exploration to do up here before we leave, actually. We do want to sketch from up here. Whoops, not jump, sketch, map. Maps, mapping, and start. Let's see if we get a little more stuff filled in on the map. A lot more stuff filled in on the map, because we're up so high. Look at this, this is great. We're all the way out to the east coast now, mapping-wise. Very good, very good. Chronicles. This was where all the sacrifices were done down here. Okay. All right, good. So we filled in a bunch more stuff there. Um, and last night when you guys weren't looking, um, remember we came to this cave, but we couldn't actually explore it because I didn't have a torch on me. And I didn't even have a stick with which to make a torch. So I've been in here on my own and I found an improved torch and a piece of flint so we can make another another piece of flint. So we can make a, a flint shard thing. And this, uh, we can make a... a a striker to start fires, which is good because our spindle fire starter has just broken with uh, the last time I, I lit a torch. Um, this cave goes all the way through, but uh, we're going to take the long way around to see more stuff. So let's just continue the way that we were going and follow this all the way around the mountain. And good, now that we have it mapped, we'll actually be able to make some decisions about which way to go. Uh, if you notice in the upper left-hand corner, or I can open my statuses screen, we are getting a little sick. Remember yesterday, it rained all day long, and we were out in the rain all day. And so, yeah, I ended up catching a cold and then something I ate disagreed with me so I have a little bit of indigestion as well I don't know if there's anything up here but let's look it does seem like there should be a reason to get up here because it looked like we were able to get up here so we should find something cool up here or maybe not nope okay there is cool stuff down there though including a water catcher, one of the two fresh water sources on the island. And since it rained all day yesterday, there might... Jeez! Ah, Apparently, this is guarded by snakes. I should have looked around a little bit more carefully before jumping on this. Where was the other one? He's deep in that tall grass. There's another one around here, too. Okay, this is clay. Very useful, but it's very heavy. So, uh, I'm not sure. And is there any water left here? There is. Lots of clean water. Great. I don't have anything to put the water in right now, but I could have something. I thought we made a, oh, we, we made a, a, a coconut flask, but we didn't, we, we used it in another construction. So I'm going to have to make another one if we want to take some of this water away with us. Um, and coconut flasks are in the, what? Other items. Okay. Cool. Let's take some water. Well, first let's drink some water because there's plenty of it. And now let's take some water. 
take. Good. Now we have backup, a small backup supply of water. We'll take some cattail heads for as tinder for starting fires. Six will be enough. Well, that's seven, so that's more than enough. Great. Yeah, and now we're we're overloaded, and I can drop this big stone I picked up. I picked that up before we knew that we were going to find that clay, so the clay is more important than the stone. Certainly more rare. Harder to come by. We are heavy, but I don't think there's much else we're really willing to drop here. Especially because those are bamboo. I'm probably going to want to take some of these with us. Hmm. So I'm going to have to drop something. Hmm. Well, there are always more ripe coconuts to be found. Three new blueprints unlocked. One of them should be another water carrying thing. So we may make another one of those immediately. Other items? Yes, a bamboo flask with a cattail and a bamboo stick. Let's make it. And see if there's enough water left in there to fill this up. Oh, and now we've gotten um, snake venomed. We've been a poisoned. So, we've got to get back to base. We do have anti-venom back at base. And I think we also have something to deal with the uh, indigestion that we have right now. It looks like the cold has gone away on its own. That's good. We're going to need more bamboo, but I think I'm too heavy to pick up any more. That, that, that bamboo flask is going to go a long way to keep us hydrated. Sorry, I'm heavy, so I'm moving slowly, and I'm tired now. But we'll try to get home as quickly as possible. All right, so if we had that stone... No, that's another flint shard. Good, now I'm even heavier. Okay, if we had gone through the cave up on top of the mountain, it would have spat us out on the other side of the mountain, and then we would have ended up down here. So we're basically right where we are, right where we would have been if we had gone all the way through the cave. Mm, we're going to be right up on this bird's nest. He's almost certainly going to attack. Or she. Um, we're going to have to cut those down if we want to go through there. That looks like a shortcut home, but... Let's see what's up here. Another snake. I don't see him. Do you see him? He's close. I just I can't see him at all. Don't worry about it. He's in that grass somewhere. All right. This is another stone deposit that could be mined. Let's take a look at our map. Oh, there's good stuff. There's so much good stuff up here. And I'm so heavy already. I can't bring it all home with me. But we'll, we'll have to come back. These trees produce flexible branches, which we're going to need to make a bow. Mm, but I'm so heavy already. And this, this isn't very far from where we started out, so we can run back up here to get the rest of this stuff. Okay, now we're heading back up to where we started, right? 
let's go this way. Anything cool up here? Unity game engine, why can't you handle slopes like this? Oh man, obsidian. That is going to make us so heavy that we can't even move. We must drop all the things. Let's eat something. Eat two of those, those will lighten us up a tiny bit. Drop that tree bark. Alright, well, we're light enough to at least move now but it's going to be about it a buffalo potion which does what buffalo potion heals all diseases and restores maximum health that's good song of great thirst miraculous was the water of the fountain gained by the four tribes but the fountain was not infinite dozens of stormbreakers were going back and forth to bimini but there was not enough water for everyone who desired it and each boat returning from the island was greeted by hundreds of stretched hands and many of those who desired the potion were worthy of it but could not get even one sip and when one person took the potion a dozen more asked why not me and when one person prolonged his youth a dozen more asked why not me and the elders saw that the seeds of discord were being sown and that trouble awaits if there is so much envy in the hearts of men Oh no, a raw clay pot! Ah, oh, too heavy! So much good stuff! What can I, I can get rid of that primitive torch. No, nope, still too heavy. Sorry guys, sorry. Uh, we're gonna have to drop something. I mean, all this clay is to be used to make a raw clay pot, so... <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Maybe I could drop one piece of clay. All right, that'll at least allow us to move, albeit slowly. All right, this this will take us out, but we're gonna have to cut our way through here unless we want to climb. Yeah, climbing is gonna be tricky, especially with how heavy we are. Yeah, let's cut our way out. Oh, and my stone axe is broken. And I just dropped all my stones. Okay. Ow. Okay, I'll tell you what, folks. This is just going to be a long, slow trek back to the grotto. So I'm just going to meet you guys back there. If anything interesting happens along the way, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, folks, we are home-ish. And um, it took me basically all evening to walk back here because I was so heavy and weighted down. Uh, but a couple of things I realized along the way that helped, that allowed me to lighten myself up a little bit. Well, first of all, that stuff that's in these slots here are hanging there they don't weigh anything so i had this i had the stone pickaxe in my inventory and it was really weighing me down so i just put it in my slot here and then i was no longer that weighed down another thing i realized after having said that we had to come back here to heal ourselves is that we had anti-venom and hibiscus petals no what's the other one that's good for chamomile juice is good for an upset upset tummy so we had that all along and i could have used it at any point uh, i also got a scratch from the uh, walking through those brambles after the stone axe broke so i'm gonna have to make a steamed bandage which was the whole reason why we started a fire last night was to make a steamed bandage and then i never actually made it so you guys were probably yelling at me don't forget the steam bandage and i forgot the steam bandage so what are we going to do now i think that the 
our main goal then is going to be to move to another location and start setting up a more permanent base. In order to do that, I think our first order of business is going to be to craft a, a cart to drag along behind us. And we have not unlocked the carts yet because we have not made any split logs, which are made on the workbench, the carpentry workbench. And so we're going to build one of those here, and then we can always either move it or just deconstruct it and rebuild it in our new spot. But to do that, we're going to need one more rope and a log. Let's just let me just drop everything I can so we're moving faster. We'll drop these clay here. Uh, we'll put the sh flint shards in the box. Um, we can drop all these green leaves, the narrow leaves. And that should do it. These puff balls can go in the box. And all these potions. Uh, I Well, we'll keep the snake potion. That's the really useful one. We'll keep that. And maybe a couple of cattail tinder will move over. And the raw clay pot I'm just going to drop on the ground. Okay, good. So now let's go cut us down a tree. In order to do that, we need a stone to repair our stone axe. Or we could think about maybe making an obsidian axe now that we have obsidian shards. Let's see if we could do that. I'm not sure what we're going to need for that. We might need something we don't have yet. Oh, well, we have to turn the, the obsidian into an axe blade first. And for that, we're going to need a, a table. We're going to need a crafting table. And then we're going to need a long handle. And for that, we're also going to need a crafting table, I think. Well, we're, we're going to need a big branch anyway. So whether we need the table or, or to make the long handle or not doesn't matter because we don't have a long branch. That should probably be... Oh, no, wait. We do have a long branch. Do We need, we need a big branch is what we need. Okay, let's cut one of these down. This is only providing the leaves, right? So let's strip the leaves and then see if we can... I don't have any stones. i got to have a stone lying around here somewhere. No stones. <laughs> well... You know where we can find some. What was it? Oh, we need a big stick, a big branch for this too, right? Okay, so let's take a quick look at the map. Are there? Where are the big branches? There's some right up there in the middle of the island. All right, so let's go that way. And then we can hopefully come across a stone along the way. So that we can come back here and start building some stuff. You know what? Again, guys, this is just going to be me walking, which isn't going to be very exciting. So why don't I meet you guys out at the big branches? And uh, if we, if anything interesting, as always, if anything interesting happens along the way, uh, we'll come back. Okay, folks, the sun should be starting to come up momentarily. Um, I just ate a couple. I ate our last two fried eggs for breakfast. And according to the map, we should be right around where the big branches are available. These trees right here give us big branches. They do. And Jatoba gum. Great. That is five big branches, which is probably just about as many as we can carry. Um, and the sun is not officially up yet, so it's still going to put me at risk of injury if I harvest that. So let's give it one more minute before we start the harvesting process. In the meantime, is there anything else here that we can harvest or make use of? These are just sticks and bark. You know, there is something up to the north of us here. Since we have to kill time anyway, and there are big branches up here, there's this. So let's go check that out. Now, when we were up on the mountain right now, just, just now, and I went through that cave on my own when you guys weren't watching, I did come across a skeleton that had the... Um, 
the improved torch on it, and it also had a note, which is now in my journal. Let me show you real quick. Dead Spaniard map. Yeah, it was this. Okay. So we found this on the skeleton with the improved torch. It says, a map with blurred inscriptions in Spanish. The site of some long, uh, some kind of camp is here is marked here. It looks like the Spaniards were already here long before us. And I think that is right about where we are. So I think that what we're going to find over here is that abandoned Spaniards camp. Oh, boars over here too. But it is no longer night, so I would be willing to try to tangle with one of these guys if I had to. Snake, snake. Yeah, I know it seems like there are snakes everywhere, but, you know... There would be, right? And the thing about them is they don't... Like the scorpions, once you kill them off, they don't respawn that quickly. And they don't respawn, respawn that frequently. So it, it does make sense to try to take them out where, you, where and when you can. To make your life a little bit easier in the long run. Is there something on this log here? No, that's just a cut spot. Okay, so the Spaniard's camp has got to be right in here. Yep, okay. Oh, gosh, there are going to be snakes all over here. That's a liana. These crates you can't really do anything with except stack them to make stairs. Something cool. That is the recipe for berry compote, which is actually really useful because not only does it um, replenish food and probably water, it also replenishes energy. So that can be like, it's like a cup of coffee, basically. Mountain trail map. Now, we're already past this. This note was left by the Spaniards who visited the island long before us. The picture shows a mountain trail and the place where they lost their friend. It looks like they were able to climb quite high up in the mountains, location Island of Hope. So that journal thing that we just looked at earlier, just a minute ago, was that location was where I found the the, the journal map and the, um, the improved... Uh, torch. Okay, we have now just found a couple of big branches lying around on the ground, which is good. Abandoned camp tablet. I won't read this whole thing, but it's basically markers for three, four men who died. Uh, Salvador Avila, Lucas Solero, Felipe Valdez, and Luis Herrero. The, the story in this game is actually all based on real events. So that that is one thing I really like, is that even though parts of it are not particularly well written, it, it, it is actually true to life, what happened here. I'm just looking for any more of those big sticks, since that's what we came out for in the first place. And I think that was it, just the two of them. Just the two of them, really? But if we go up on the ridge above us, we might be able to harvest some more. Where'd my spear go did it break all right it's it's done and i don't have any more long sticks on us hmm. huh. so i have no way to repair that or make another one right now okay this is going to take a while oh no do i need an axe i do but we can repair my axe now right Unless I dropped it. I dropped it. But there are stones and I have sticks. We can just make a new one. Weren't there stones back here? Oh, gosh. 
gosh, what a bust. I'm doing this all wrong, guys. All wrong. Walking around with no sticks yesterday and no stones today, which I always have on me because, you know, for, for reasons, for this reason. Oh, let me take one more pass through here to see if there's a stone lying on the ground. There should be. I'm surprised if there isn't. That's an actual rope. Nothing. Give me one stone, please. Yeah, I no, I don't want to. I don't want to fight the boar with a pickaxe. All right, guys, this this is a horrible, horrible bust. But we do have two big branches that we found. So let's just go home, and I'll come back out on my my own time and get more big branches. Sorry about that. Look around on the ground here real quick. No? There's a stone pile here. There's one right below us. may provide long sticks, which means we can repair our spear. Nope, not that. Well, there's a stone anyway. That should be a whole pile of stones. There we go. And now I'm getting exhausted. Because we've been out all night. Shoot. So the heck with it. Guys, we're not getting any more big branches today. I have to go home and sleep. Repair my spear. Repair my axe. And we can, we can do a little bit of construction. Get away from me. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that, guys. What a bust that day was. I came out totally unprepared. And... I'm paying the price now. I'm sorry that you had to pay the price, too. Unity game engine making me tap dance my way down this slope. Alright, I'm about to pass out, guys, so let's just go to sleep. I got food and water, so let's do it. Uh, we'll be up in... Let's, let's do it a couple hours before sundown so that I can actually do some work here. And the rain has started. I'm just going to destroy that spear and make a new one. We have more of the long sticks, right? Crafting. Um, wait, I need weapons. Wooden spear. Oh, do we have our... We still have a... Didn't we make a hammer for building? No, we never actually made it. Oh, that was what was keeping us from doing this out here, was we needed the big stick to make the hammer so that we could finish construction on that thing. So now that we have a big stick, let's make a hammer. Let's make a stone hammer. Oh, we need a big stone for that, which, of course, I had and dropped. 
think we need this in our actual slot. Oop. And two hours in the rain building it, and of course the rain stops. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Well, now it is actually officially night, so now I'm going to sleep the rest of the night. And we'll do the rest of this stuff in the morning, although now I'm getting thirsty. What can I drink? All this water that we filled up. Good. Anything to eat? Not on me. Not unless I start a fire and fry up those eggs. Anything in here to eat? I could eat those puff balls, but I'd rather not. They have better uses. Okay, let's go to sleep. Eight hours. Let's make it seven. And then the other thing we needed the big branch for was the crafting table, right? The carpentry table. Carpentry workbench. Oh, no, no, it wasn't for that, but it was for something that we would have to build on that. So, oh, it was, well, it was, it was the obsidian axe, which I can't make because I don't have the, the other workbench. So let's just make another stone axe. Level two crafting. Great. And spear here. Axe here. We no longer, or we don't right now anyway, need the pickaxe or the hammer. Okay, so let's just, first let's set up the skeleton for the carpentry workbench. There, I'll fill in the stuff that we do have. That'll make us a bit lighter. And then go cut down a tree. Put that there, and now we will need the hammer back. It'd be great if the devs put a slot on these constructions that would hold the stuff that you need. Like you need you need a saw to do everything on the carpentry workbench, so it'd be great if there was a slot on here that held a saw so you didn't have to carry it around or retrieve it from the box every time you needed one. Okay, so now we have one of those. Now we're going to need a split log to make a cart to haul around or haul stuff around. So we'll do this, and then we need to make a saw somehow. Saw, saw, saw. Tools. What's the saw situation? Obsidian saw, stone saw. For stone saw, we're going to need one of these massive stones that we've been walking by. Obsidian saw is going to be... Oh, wait. Obsidian saw only requires one obsidian shard to make and a hammer. Oh, but we need the regular workbench. Do we set up the regular workbench now? What will that require? Two long sticks, liana rope, and regular sticks. I think we're down to the last of our liana rope, but we do have one liana here. Oh, no, we've still got five. Okay. We are down to our last long sticks, though. So we could go out and try and find some more. That shouldn't be too hard, actually. Let's have a look at the map. Ah, I got to get this this part of the map mapped. I think the closest long sticks are going to be over here somewhere, because I think that the ones that we harvested on day one are going to be there. So let's head that way, and if we find one of those massive stones, then we can make a stone saw. And if we find um, long sticks, we can come back and make the workbench, and then we can make an obsidian saw. Why are you angry with me? You 
angry little pups. I did nothing to you. Is that a big st stone down there? I think that's a massive stone. Nope, 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 nope. My bad. There was a pile of stone on stones up here that we harvested on day one. There might be a big stone there. No big stones, but let's get more. Oh, not for 11 days. Shoot. 26 days, but I think there was one up here that we never harvested because we were too heavy, right? We never harvested this one. Good. Cool. So that'll give us enough long sticks to make the carpentry. These big leaves have not respawned yet, or regrown, I should say. Level 3 athletics, I'm getting to be so good at running places. I'm so fit now. So let's slap down a carpentry bench. And again, these little minor machines that we're building here, we can either move over to our new location or we can break them down and rebuild them over there. So we need some more sticks. We need some more ropes. Um, I'm going to take one minute to actually craft up a rope from that one liana we found over at the Spaniards' camp. Okay, and now I don't have a huge pile of sticks. No, that's kind of what we need the... Um, the, the, the cart for, is to go out and bring back like 50 sticks. So that we don't have to keep worrying about finding them elsewhere. These may not have regrown either. Nope. But there are other trees up here that we can get sticks from. And this, guys, is why we want to set up our base in another location now, because it is such a pain in the butt running back and forth every time you need sticks or a log or bark or whatever you're going to need. That it'd be better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Oh, uh, it's probably because the light is changing. It's probably dawn or dusk, and Unity Game Engine also has trouble with dawn and dusk. No, oh, and it became night as I was doing that, so we got pounced. I don't know where he went. I can't kill him. He'll probably attack us again. I can light the, the torch. Alright, that's enough sticks for us for now. So now I'm heading back again. Okay, let's get this carpentry bench built and well, I don't know if we're going to build it tonight because it's going to be nighttime. Nope. Maybe it's not officially nighttime yet. Good. Oh, yes it is. It turned nighttime. And our axe broke. Oh boy. Wow, let's just repair it. And yeah, so now we're running a risk of injury, and there's no reason to build this tonight. Let's just go to sleep if we can. 
We're gonna need some food. I got one of these left. Let's go ahead and eat that. We do have two eggs that are about to go bad. No, they've still got a couple of days on them. Ah, here comes some rain. Good. Okay, so let's just, let's eat this. Ah, that didn't give us much food at all, did it? Drink this, and then in a minute we can go out and refill these at the collector out there. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to eat something I didn't want to eat here. Like maybe puff balls. Damn it. Those puff balls are good if you if you dry them up on a drying rack. They'll last forever. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start a fire and use it to make a no I don't want a big branch. I don't want a long stick. I want regular sticks. chance of ignition no suitable fire starter we broke our fire starter but we have that flint now what does it take to make a flint fire starter two pieces of flint and a regular workbench which isn't built yet so let's just build one of these nope no luck nope no luck there we go Let's get those eggs fried up. Let's get a steam bandage made for which we'll need two of these big pieces. And did we use up the last of any of these bandages? We did. One of them. Oh, it was the scorpion stings. The, the anti-venom. I think we... Have we have more scorpions? Oh, we have we have three scorpion bandages in, in the inventory in the box. Okay, let's go out. That water catcher, that water collector takes quite a while to fill, so it'll take at least an hour and a half before it's full. Full. So this is full now. Fill that up. Fill this up. And go to sleep. Oh, we didn't eat our eggs. Now go to sleep. Okay. Four hours until sunrise. There we go. Now we can build this using the axe. And then we can use it to make an obsidian saw. It'll take an hour and 21 minutes. Good. Now we can use it to make split logs. And then we should be able to build ourselves a cart. Hopefully, if we have everything we need. Need four sticks, so we're going to need more sticks and two ropes. And that's the last of our rope. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to where we can grab some sticks and then build the cart there and then load it up with stuff, like sticks. You cannot carry logs in that little cart. We're going to have to make a, a log carrier for that. But yeah, I'll see you guys over at the sticks. On the way back, I think we should check those palm trees, see if the coconuts have regrown. And the date tree that we harvested on day one, that might have regrown. Some dates. Harvested you already? Yep. Oh, I may have to kill this guy. I'm, he's I'm right on top of him. Ooh, or he may kill me. Come on. Okay. 
you're coming back. All right, well, at least he's he's far enough away that I can harvest this without getting pounced. <sighs> Those scorpion attacks, they get less and less frequent as you improve your skills. I, I never I never had eyes on him, so I don't know. I would have killed him if I could have, but I never I never saw where he was. It's too dark. Take out this snake. Another one. Isn't it officially daylight? It must be overcast. It's really dim back in here. I think we're going to need a couple more sticks before we can build the cart. Let me get one more tree. Maybe one more. Because there's one right here. And yes, I'm getting the bark too. You can never have too much bark. It has multiple uses as you go along. Okay. Cart. We have everything we need. Good. And the sun has broken through. So now we can move around and carry lots of stuff. Let's get a few more sticks and then swing by the coconut trees, the palm trees on the way back. Small sticks, anything else here worth harvesting? Take a look at the map. It's showing me bread trees over here. Let's move that way. Dump off some stuff I'm carrying around here. We don't need the hammer anymore. We do need a fire starter. We don't need all this bark. We don't need the saw. We don't need 13 sticks. I like to keep five on me because that's how many it takes to start a fire. So that's your emergency fire starting equipment. We don't need the, those leaves, those leaves. We don't need a, the long stick. Okay. Where was the breadfruit tree? Behind me. That's it, right? But we harvested this one. Okay, so only one has regrown so far. Wow, another scorpion attack. At least we'll be able to see this one to kill it. Anything else worth harvesting? Yeah, maybe down here. Always need more of these. Right, I think that's probably enough bark for us. I think I'm just going to pick up sticks from now on. Oh, this is a eucalyptus tree. Great, we can make very good bandage out of that. Okay, folks, we're gonna be wrapping this up soon. The, it hasn't been a very eventful day, but that's 
you know, my fault. I, I made a bunch of stupid, stupid mistakes that cost us a lot of time and effort in terms of running back and forth and having to, to retrace our steps and fix stuff that we that I messed up. That'll be the last one. It's too dark to see anything out here now unless we light a torch. So as long as we can find our cart, which is right in front of me, we should be okay. And we'll get out from under these trees. We should be able to see. Give me our cart. I may have to light the torch to find the cart. There it is. Okay, but I do want... So we got 30 sticks now. That will definitely keep us going. Well, 30 in my hand. There are... So we got more than 30 now. Well, about 30. Put these in the cart. The big leaves. We'll put all the rest of the bark in the cart. Put the eucalyptus leaves in the cart. And let's just swing by our initial shipwreck site and see if we can grab a couple of shush grab a couple of coconuts on the way back but we are almost exhausted so we do have to go home and go to sleep See if there are any dates or cocos here. Now, nope, two more days for dates to regrow and 10 days for the coconuts. Okay, folks, so we didn't accomplish a heck of a lot. We did gather a bunch of important stuff, including um, clay and water from that water resource. And, and some big branches that allowed us to build a carpentry workbench and a regular workbench and a water catcher. So not a completely wasted couple of days. It just was messy and ugly. And somehow, sometimes that's the way survival is. Sometimes survival is messy and ugly. So we're still alive. That's what matters. Okay? So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe, survivors.